Today we have something special for you, a journey along the lush landscapes of Asheville, North Carolina. We'll be talking about Asheville's greenways, and I'll show you the existing greenways that connect neighborhoods like the River Arts District and West Asheville and North Asheville and Monford and UNCA. We'll also take a peek at some of the proposed greenways to see what Asheville City Planning has up their sleeves to better connect our neighborhoods. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Beth Shadler and we are living in Asheville where we explore what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep, play, and just hang out in Asheville, North Carolina and scoot around on those greenways. The city of Asheville maintains a beautiful and growing expansive a uh, system of greenways throughout the city. It's equally suited for recreation and transportation enjoyment. So I, I invite you to grab your bike or your hiking shoes or your tennis shoes, or your roller blades or roller skates or skateboard or whatever and explore the greenways with me today. And if you'd like to learn more about Asheville in general, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so that you'll be alerted every time we make a new video for you. Today, the city has more than 10 miles of greenways and constantly adds new sections and connectors. The push to create these greenways happened over a decade ago, and the city is getting them into the ground now. The 2021 Wilma Dykeman Greenway was completed, and this section is probably the most iconic stretch um, so far. Parking is available under the Captain Jeff Bowen Bridge, and from there you can stroll and bike and skate or one wheel across the French Broad River or along the French Broad River there. So it's a really beautiful stretch and it goes all the way down to Amboy Road and to Carrier Park and where Carrier Bridge connects it all. From there, you can easily get to Carrier Park and hop on the Hominy Creek uh, Greenway, passing the Outpost, where the Great Eagle Music Hall hosts shows in the summer months. And then there's Asheville Adventure Company offering all kinds of rafting tours and kayaking tours on the French Broad River. And then past that, there's Wilson's Riverfront RV Park. Actually, the Greenway passes right through the middle of the RV park. It's a great little camp spot right on the river with a field for tent camping and plenty of spaces for RVs as well. And if you keep going, you'll pass under I-40, peeking over to the other side of the river and you might get a glimpse of the Biltmore Estate and its farmyard area where there's Antler Village and the Biltmore Estate Winery uh, located just right there. So eventually you'll end up at Hominy Creek River Park. And this is a great spot to put in the French Broad River if you wanna go down it on a stand up paddle board or a kayak, canoe, tube even. And if you need help doing that, French Broad Outfitters is right around the corner at the confluence of Hominy Creek and the French Broad River. Their site is an old sand dredge and it's truly an incredible space. They opened a bar there, of course, because we're Asheville, and they have a food truck so everyone can enjoy the space. We like to go out there and listen to our good friends, the Snake Oil Medicine Show play and the kids kind of run around and they it's kind of like a beach area there along the river and they dig in the sand and there's dogs and burgers and food trucks and beer and just beach life while there's this incredible music going on in the background. It's one of our favorite things to do in the summertime. So let's jump back on to the Greenway and to the dog park right next to Carrier Bridge. This is a popular spot for people who are walking their dogs and it's easily accessible from West Asheville. You can just walk down there and hang out by the river. There's also yoga in the park down there. We often forget that when we think about West Asheville, there's a lot more to West Asheville than Haywood Road. There's quite a lot of nature that surrounds the area. From here, the recently finished stretch of Greenway West 2 connects to Haywood Road, um, farther downstream from New Belgium Brewing Company and crossing back into the River Arts District at Craven Street Bridge brings us back to the Wilman Dykeman Greenway. The dock and ramp right next to the bridge allow for easy access to the river. You can put in or take out here and walk back to Hominy Creek Outpost or just catch an Uber if you get the idea or just hitchhike if you're into that. Uh, I like to use Uber as a river, river shuttle service. It's a whole new world these days. You just like waterproof your phone in a little packet there and then when you get out, you just Uber back. I, I like to retire my hitchhiking thumb, but it's done me very well as well <laughs> in the past. So anyway, I'm dating myself. 
We get calls and texts every single day from people like you who are thinking about moving to Asheville, and we absolutely love it. So feel free to reach out. You're not bothering us at all. And we'd be glad to guide you through the process, you know, whether it's now or later or what, whatever. We'll find the right time for you. We'll find the right path for you and we'll make it easy. In 2022, the Asheville Marathon and Half Marathon moved their race from the Biltmore Estate to the River Arts District, utilizing all the greenways mentioned above to create this point-to-point -point race that starts in downtown and finishes in this revitalized River Arts District at the Wedge. So if you're a runner, check out the course there. My husband loves to run and we like to like cheer him on while, while eating high caloric snacks and sitting in our lawn chairs while he's like sweating and running around. So these greenways connecting West Asheville and the River Arts District are great for recreation. Let's look at some of the other finished stretches that are the Reed Creek Greenway and the Glens Creek Greenway. These two connect the North Asheville area around Grove Park to UNCA and Montford. Glens Creek starts right on Merriman in Weaver Park and runs along the WT Weaver Boulevard, past the Botanical Gardens and ends on Broadway Street. From there, the Reed Creek Greenway runs all the way down Broadway Street, almost to Five Points Restaurant. You can just head right on downtown if you want. And if you live in this area, the Greenway might be a perfect option to use to, uh, to bike, to get some chores done, or to go for a run, or to watch your kid rollerblade, or walk your dog. Many people use this as a way to not walk on the busy streets and off the greenways you'll often find wilderness trails right in the city shh don't tell though it's kind of our secret spot there's hiking trails like right in the center of Asheville typically found around UNCA but hush hush now it's time to look at what is yet to come this is exciting so the city gave us this promising looking website we find five Greenway projects that are in progress and 14 are proposed. So check out the links down below. Number one is the French Broad River West, which is now pretty much completed. And as I mentioned earlier, it loops back into the Wilma Dykeman Greenway from the dog park at Craven Street Bridge. Number two is the Bacote Branch Greenway, and I hope I'm saying that right because I'm not sure. This stretch of greenway starts near Aston Park Tennis Center. This means that North Asheville, Monford, and the River Arts District will all now be connected. How cool is that? But what about the South Slope? You may ask yourself, how am I going to go drink beer at the South Slope? Number three is the Nasty Branch Greenway. What a funny name. Let's see why. Why on earth are they calling it that? Okay, so the plan suggests that this one begins at the Dr. Wesley Grant Senior Southside Center and extends eastward to the Memorial Stadium. Now this greenway will be a wooded off-road experience. So hence the nasty. <laughs> I don't know. As it heads from the center, parallel to Chalkow Street, in Old Ashland Avenue until the intersection of McDowell and Pfeiffer Street. So a greenway connector will connect the Nasty Branch Greenway, oh, maybe it's like a, a stream or something, with the Bowcatcher and Clingman Forest Greenways. The Bowcatcher Greenway is proposal number four, and according to city planning, will be a wooded cor corridor below the crest on the western side of Bowcatcher Mountains Ridge with commanding views of downtown. When I say commanding, I mean serious beautifulness. The trail, um, the trail will have some on-road portions at times, and then you'll, be, you'll meander through some city parks, and then hit up with Bowcatcher Trail that already exists. And then it winds through forests down behind the Asheville Tourist Baseball Stadium, which I think is gonna be renamed soon, and McCormick Field, and Memorial Stadium, and the Mountainside Park. And I know some people that go up in the woods back there and absolutely love it. That's like their meditation spot and they do some drumming and things like that. So by the way, the city of Asheville decided in March 2023 to back funding for plans to update the McCormick baseball field. So the project's total price tag, how much? You guess, you go, I'm gonna listen. No, 37.5 million. So this will be split between the team, the county, and the TDA, the Tourist Development Authority, and the city. 
baseball fans love the minor league baseball uh, here in this community and it's great for the community and they really place a lot of importance on that ballpark as it and as it serves for a center of sports here because we don't have a lot of sports here so if you decide to move uh, here a few years from now you'll be welcomed by a brand spanking new stadium that will potentially serve other uses as well like concerts or craft fairs or winter light events or high school baseball tournaments and more the city is constantly working on the Greenway proposals, and if you're interested in how Asheville tackles projects like this, then check out one of their plan review sessions. We'll link it somewhere up here. Now, let's look at the proposed Greenways. At first glance, we can see that there are a lot of proposed sections in east and west, and only a couple in the north and the south. In the east, the goal is to build a greenway all along the Swannanoa River, which would be gorgeous, that would connect West Asheville and the River Arts District to neighborhoods like Kenilworth and the Asheville Mall area along South Tunnel Road and the Nature Center, Beverly Hills and Hall Creek, and the John B. Lewis soccer fields, and the Blue Ridge Parkway, of course. In the West, proposed projects would better connect areas along Patton Avenue all the way out to Biltmore Lake. And then farther south, Bent Creek would get its own greenway that would connect to South Asheville, Biltmore Park, and Lake Julian. This would be really cool. This would mean that we could eliminate a lot of traffic. We could get more exercise. We would feel safe riding our bikes getting more physical movement and be able to connect the entire area all around Asheville. Let me know what you think about the Asheville Greenways down below. Put it in a comment and check out our videos about Biltmore Park and Biltmore Lake here or here. And if you'd like to learn more about Asheville in general, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Do it. Activate that bell so that you can be alerted every time we make a new video for you. Until next time. Enjoy it all. Ciao for now.